Hey, so I have not done a October TBR yet this month, and I haven't done In My Mailbox in like probably a month. So trying to get caught up on things, um, I started my, mm, I don't know, whatever quarter of school, fourth quarter of school, I don't know. Good news is I'm like almost done, so, well I'm almost done to get into the grad program, and that'll be like a year um, of that, but um, I really just, I haven't had time to read, and I haven't had time to blog, and like the little free time I have, like I'm doing homework, or that's bothering me. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it's better. Um, I'm either like doing homework or hanging out with my boyfriend. Um, I read a little bit when I can, but it took me over a month to finish Flipper Gregory's new book, and that's just sad because it was amazing and I wanted to keep reading it. And I read it like in between classes and everything, but I just, I'm working, I have a new job, and I'm only working like 10 hours a week, but. It still like takes up a lot of my time, but I love it, so working's fun. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to be better at vlogging, which I feel like I apologize every time I record one of these, and I don't know why I do, because I'm, I vlog for fun, so I don't really feel like I should be apologizing. I mean, my personal life is obviously going to come first, and school always comes first, so um, I mean, I'll even like... My relationship's important, but, I mean, school is first, so. Anyway, um, update, I think would be good. Um, I, well, I bought Gone with the Wind, which is massive. It's the awesome, uh, let me see, it's the 75th anniversary edition, so pretty excited about it. I have a copy of Gone with the Wind, I just didn't really want to read the copy that I have because I kind of just bought it for the cover and not because of what condition it was in. So this is my nice pretty one that I can read. Um, and we're still going to have the read along. Um, you can go on Goodreads and check out um, some people have been chatting and then also there's just comments on the posts that I have on the blog. And you can still feel free to go ahead and sign up. Um, but we're going to hold off on this till next year because right now it's just really busy and actually I'm going to have more time next quarter anyway. I'm taking less classes, I only need like three more classes until I'm done with my content area stuff. So um, yeah, so we're probably going to move this to like January or February, which I think is going to work a lot better for everyone. So yeah, so if you want to read Gone with the Wind, do not feel rushed to pick up a copy now. Wait, see what your schedule is, and we'll probably reconvene in January and see if we want to do it January, February, March, April. We can do it this summer if we want. I don't really care. I just think, like, that, I don't know, I really want to reread this because I'm taking a Civil War class and I'm kind of obsessed right now with anything Civil War. I find it really interesting. So, so yeah, I guess I just started doing it in my mailbox and didn't realize it. So, yeah, so Gone with the Wind, um, I bought that. So yeah, we'll be in my mailbox first. That's what happens. Uh, let's see. For review, I got India Black and the Widow of Windsor by Carol K. Carr. This is the second book in the India Black series. Um, Carol was nice enough to send this to me um, probably about a month ago. And I've just now started reading it just because of how busy I've been. Um, and I've read like, I think I've read the first chapter? No. I've read the prologue, and it's really good so far. It's about um, Queen Victoria is in this one, so should be pretty good. I really loved her first book. You can see my review for it on the blog. Um, but, yeah, I'm excited to see more about what happens between India and French. Hopefully there's a little bit of a romance. So, hoping to read more of this this weekend. It's only Saturday, but I have a busy weekend planned, and I'm hanging out with my friend tonight, we're going to go out to dinner and go see Ides of March, because we, well, it was filmed near, at our school, so, yeah, our, where I got my undergrad, it was filmed there, so, if you want to look that up, you can, I'm sure you can figure out where I did my undergrad, plus I think I've worn shirts that maybe, you know, have a cross here like that had the name of the school I went to so 
Yeah, you can always watch previous videos and probably figure it out. Plus, if you just look at the fact that I'm from Ohio, you can probably figure it out. And if you know where George Clooney filmed the rest of the scenes of the movie, you can probably figure that out, too. So, yeah, so we're going to see that because we're nerds. And we want to see, be like, oh, look, I went there, and George Clooney filmed there, and that's basically the reason why we're going to the movie. I have no idea what it's about, but I think it'll be pretty good. So, yeah, back to MMA Relax. Sorry, I'm scattered. I have so much to do this weekend. Um, and if you hear anything in the background, I'm not sure if it's going to record or not. Um, but I'm doing laundry, so if there's any, like, disturbance noises or something, yeah, the weekend's, like, the only time I can really catch up on everything, so it's, like, cleaning, laundry, fun stuff like that. So, yeah, so I bought Gone with the Wind, and I got India Black for review, and then, um, oh, I only, I was good, I only bought, like, three books this month, which, probably not gonna be buying anything next month. Um, I really want to get Cold Kiss and Mara Dyer, but at this point, I might as well just wait till Christmas and get them, like, you know, if I get Christmas money or gift cards or something, like, I'll just buy some books later, but right now I think I have everything that I really want, um, besides Past Perfect by Lila Sales, which, I don't know if it's out yet or not, I don't know, but I really do want to finish a copy of that, but again, I've already read it, so, I don't know what I'm going to end up getting that one, but trying to watch my book buying a lot more because I really just don't have the space and I don't have the money right now because because I'm in school <laughs> pretty much um, but I did get Beautiful Days by Anna Goberson because I had like a 20 percent off coupon so I ordered this offline very excited to read this one again I am insanely busy so I have not had time to read this Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. I have to read this one soon or my friend will kill me because she just finished Anna and the French Kiss. I loaned it to her. Did not expect her to read that in like two days, but she did. She texted me at like 2.30 and she's like, oh my gosh, I love St. Clair. I'm like, I told you. I told you you love St. Clair. But she's dying to read the sequel now, so I have to read this before she like comes over and steals it from me. So, yeah, so those are the books I bought, and then I also got some stuff on my Nook. Um, I just got um, the Galley Grub newsletter for this month, so I haven't really looked at it yet. I haven't had time, but when I do, I'm sure I'll be downloading some things, and i um, been trying not to accept a lot of books for review, just because I feel like I don't have the time right now to dedicate to that, and I felt really bad because I got a lot of stuff over at Galley this summer. And I ended up just having to go back and decline because stuff had already expired, like, expired, expired. Like, there was no way to get it anymore. Like, no re-downloading, nothing. So I feel really bad about that. So until I have more time to devote to reviewing, like, new releases and stuff, um, I don't think I'm going to be accepting much for review. Um, or if I do, I'm going to be really picky about it. Like, if it's something I really, really, really want to read, I'm going to read it because I know I'll read it. I mean, I'm going to request it because I know I'll read it right away. Um, but as far as just, you know, being like, oh, I think I'll get around to reading that and, you know, requesting it for review, I don't, I just don't want to do that, so, anyway. So what I do have in my nook for review right now, um, well, not really for review, uh, two library books, actually. I have The Dead Girls Dance by Rachel Kane, which is the second, um, book in the Morganville Vampire series. I own the first one on my Nook, and then I saw that my library has them all, so I'm just going to keep downloading them. And then I also got Wolfsbane by Andrea Kramer, finally, so I'm going to be able to read that one. So those seem like they should be pretty good Halloween reads. Um, so yeah, and then because I feel like a horrible person, not just, not just in the blogging world, like, I get slack for this, but also I'm an education major. And pretty much everyone in my department, well, pretty much, yeah, they're obsessed with The Hunger Games. And if you read my review, I don't, I didn't like it. I didn't care for it. And I don't feel like I have to, like, really justify my decision for that. I mean, I'm allowed to not like a book, you know. Um, but, I don't know, I just feel like maybe, like, I read it at the wrong time or I was really stressed out or... Maybe skimming it wasn't really the best option, but I had to read it for class, so I was kind of pressed for time. So I got K 
Catch Me Fire, the audiobook from the library, and I've got it on my iPod Touch right now. So, I think I listened to about five minutes of it, and I'm already like, I don't know. But I'm going to give it a chance because I feel like maybe I misjudged that series. If I still don't like Catching Fire, if I can't get through Catching Fire, then I'm going to hang it up. But I just thought kind of tired of being that person who's like, actually, I didn't enjoy it. I didn't think it was that great, but I don't know. I'm not excited about the movie either, so, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, before I run out of time, it's more like 10 minutes, so apply yourself if you've made it this far. I am going to show you the books I'm going to read this month, um, very quickly. Um, and I showed you like part of my in my mailbox, which is also what I'm reading. So, uh, oh wait, I have more things for I'm in hand. Okay, so Civil War, you know, junkie here. Um, I also got The Wood of the South by Robert Hicks from the library. And A Separate Country by Robert Hicks. So, hoping to read these soon. And not books, but relevant. I got books one, two, and three of North and South on DVD, the miniseries. So I'm going to watch that. I'm actually writing a paper on the Civil War in film. So that's what I will be doing for the next couple weeks. Because the paper's due in November. So I need to start watching some Civil War movies. Um, this is long enough already, actually. So I think what I'm going to do is, this is my IMM, and then I'm going to film my um, TBR videos separately, just because this one's really freaking long. So yeah, I will see you guys another time for IMM, and right now I'm going to go, and I will film my October TBR pile, so you can see what I'm going to be reading. Not a lot, I'm going to warn you, because again, I have no time. So yeah, have a great rest of the weekend.